last time I got kind of talking to getting services done, like <laughs> Wait. pedicure. Okay, I was gonna say you like have that. to clear yeah, that I up. I was gonna clear it up, <laughs> as we said in the states. Pause. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say you like have that. to clear yeah, that up. I was gonna clear it up, <laughs> as we said in the states. Pause. But I was able to use my favorite word that I learned, bakna. Mm -hmm. And when I said bakna, he just kept it pushing. Oh, he was gonna take your phone and take pictures. You didn't want him to take pictures for you, though. Nah, because I knew there was other motifs. Oh, okay. Involved, I like I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to sell you these bracelets right mm -hmm. quick. Okay. But <laughs> I learned out here, one thing I learned about Senegal is that no never means no. Mm, explain that. Say bakna. And when you say bakna, so they leave you alone. <laughs> you say no, that intensity of the asking or Increase. pressure mm -hmm. increases. Mm -hmm. so therefore, <laughs> I redeemed myself because the last time mm -hmm. my nose wasn't heard. It wasn't strong therefore, enough. Yeah, it's as if I, I was speaking very softly or whatever. Mm -hmm. Even though I have a firm note, it still didn't work. And next thing you know, I was out of twenty dollars. Oh. So this time, <laughs> gotta I learned my lesson. Nice and soft. I came back actually just for that because you know I had to redeem myself. And the reason why I keep using the word to redeem was because I watched the Redeem team, and I felt like there was some sort of connection with that Netflix series and me coming back out here. Okay. So now the next time I come out here, I'm here on a mission. Oh, because you watched the movie called, called the Gleam Team. And I'm just going to be gleaming in so much umph. Mm. Right now I can't find a word, so I'm going to say umph. So, <laughs> the last um, time I saw you was... Last April. 2020? No, 2021. 2021. Last April, so mm. about a year. About six months. Okay. Year. How's life been? Life's been good. Life's been good. Good. Um, beard is getting gray, which means that I'm getting Just wiser. A little. Tutti tutti. Getting wiser. Some people call it stress, but I call it wisdom. Because mm -hmm. you know, I've learned a lot of things over the years. Mm -hmm. Being smart can be stressful. There's nothing wrong with being smart. Mm -hmm. and they asked me, "What have I learned?" Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that I've been telling myself is that I'm learning not to live in other people's fears. Ooh, we're going to get a lesson right now. Now, what does that mean? Break it down. Well, it means that you know, there are a lot of people who will try to project mm. their concerns, their fears, their... Fears is a big one. Hesitancies upon you. And oftentimes we either repeat those things or we act in them. Or sometimes we do not act in them. This you is guys didn't from know, Afro. If you guys didn't know, Afro Ryan. is a motivational speaker in his real, in his real life. And a philosopher. Mm -hmm. I am... An author. Uh, I like to say... Author is... A travel connoisseur. <laughs> I am the... A linguist. A linguist, mm -hmm. not as good as she, but <laughs> I dibble and dabble. Mm -hmm. I am a man of the earth. I am a man of the universe. I and a man of the pig. I, I am a man of the pig. I love my pig, and I am also one with energy. And I am one of the cosmos. So therefore, the wisdom that I I share with you comes from a very divine place, a very profound. 
source. Did you learn that in uh, one of your public speaking? Like, no, I learned this out here uh, because I'm becoming one with the land, La Terre, mm -hmm. and it showed me a lot about my inner being. Because in order for you to understand yourself inward, mm -hmm. you have to first have an understanding of the outward, mm. right? Because see, we have many rocks in which we stand upon the foundation of, but, but without that solid foundation, there will be no solid footing, preach, preach. right? And where we come from, we like to call that a root, because without the root, I see. There is no foot or foot, you know, because they're really are spelled the same way. So therefore, you have to pronounce it the same way, because without that, we have nothing to stand upon. And as the famous saying goes, "If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything." And there is nothing that I want to fall for unless it is with divine purpose. Mm. So going back to what I was saying, yeah, what were you saying, I've learned to not live in other people's fear because other people's fear is not set upon a strong foundation. Right? So you may think I am not serious here, but I am full of seriousness because my life is not filled with strife. Instead, it's filled with abundance. As abundant as this ocean is filled with water, my soul is filled with abundance. So, I want to know what you want to eat. It's time to go because it's time to eat. Mm -hmm. But and that's all I got. <laughs> Why are you doing that deep look? <laughs> because I was trying. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna eat. We'll talk to you. We'll say bye to you guys later. <laughs> My friend is here. Say hi. <laughs> we haven't seen each other since the rain started. We're gonna get some good, good Italian food. He uh, he's Sicilian. That's how he know how to make. <laughs> That's how he know how to make this. Hmm? You are who? What do you call people from Brescia? Bresciano. Yeah, you Bresciano. Buongiorno, Bresciano. Buongiorno. Oh, speak some Italian for the people. Jew. Say what we doing today. Uh, siamo a qui per mangiare. Mmm, per mangiare. Eh, e cosa? E passa una buona giornata con la famiglia. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, well, you gonna do it again later. That was good. <laughs> now you gotta pay admission. I took some. I took some Italian um, on my Duolingo just for fun. Now I only. What I speak a little Italian. <laughs> Bonjourno. <laughs> I was learning. Uh, you remember that from Quest, I don't, Glorious Bastards? No. He was like. I speak a little Italian. I don't know what Malikunda. Malikunda means for? Yeah, you know Malikunda. I know. Tutti. Malikunda. 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 I see any Malikunda. No, c'est de la pluie. Après, tu vois. Me. Hmm. Ah, bon. 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 No fish. No fish. Gnocchi mm -hmm. amnat. Wow, gnocchi sissi. Sassi. Ici c'est chez Ati. Chez Bakari, chez Ati. Your name? Right. Mm -hmm. right. right. You remember him? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, we came here before. No, I never ate here. We didn't eat. We was walking. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. In the morning. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. You probably saw me running. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys can get some bruschetta. See, what did she say? She want to gain weight. That's what she's been working on. She doesn't want to drink the juice with the lemon. She doesn't want to drink the lemon because she want to gain weight. She said. 
that's it. Oh, Don't be quiet. Yeah, but you're a kid. I don't need them. No, no so, I mean, we were all kids. Yeah, so what happened was I watched it after. Try one. Uh -huh. Oh, take a picture. But um, we, I watched Martin. We're talking about um, TV, you guys. So I watched Martin at, as an adult or younger adult, whatever. And then it wasn't funny because I was like, it is kind of corny. Like when he get dressed as Jerome and stuff, like. And that police officer with the pillow in his stomach, my like mom, my mom loved him. Mm -mm. <clears throat> How's it taste? Like a brochette. Mm hmm. <laughs> As it should. <laughs> Not that like a brochette. Yes. But that one works. It is a brochette. I know. Oh. Funny. <laughs> See, damn, you're corny. That's what, very corny. That's that's what that's that's the thing. Yeah. Some of us, we just don't get it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if she gave this to us, if it's for everybody or... Mm. I would drop some stuff on myself. Anyway. The funniest part of Martin to me was Shanae. You're funny. But that was what my mom didn't want me to watch. The reason why Martin was funny, a lot of times, because it had a lot of cold Quotables, yes. I know, um, you know, my mom on biscuits, like, yeah. I think we snuck. I mean, it wasn't like we couldn't watch it, but my mom, if my mom was around, she would just be like, mm. Movies with quotables are funny because then you can relate to people. Mm. Yeah. Like, I didn't see, um, what was it? I didn't see, um, Friday when everybody saw Friday, and everybody was like, you just got knocked the, all right. And I was like, man, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. And then in college, I saw it, and I was like, oh. oh by, that time, by that time, we didn't move on to another movie. But like, it was, like, but it was, know. it was still funny. She trying to bring the old stuff back. We over here. Mm. But um, Martin was a little on the corny side. It was like Beavis and Butthead, and um, what's his name? It was another. It was corny. Adam Sandler. And that's what made it funny because it was corny. It was stupid. It looked fake. Mm hmm And when Jamie Foxx tried to copy it, 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 this wasn't funny because, like, you're not Martin. But Jamie Foxx... It was the same... It was the same plot. Some of the same type of episode. He do the same things. Ah. Like, it was just some of the same Yeah, stuff. that was... That was... That, you know, that was funny. When it... That came from Martin first? When, like... Ah. Yeah, we used to do that at school. No. Martin was more like... Bam. Yeah, like, he'd be you know, like, show, show the people how it goes. Like, bow. Mm, okay, he and just then, bowed you. You know, without Martin, you wouldn't have Poof Be Gone. But that was mad disrespect. You Poof Be Gone? BDB. Oh, BDB wasn't a good one. You, um. But Poof Be Gone? Oh my yeah. gosh. Yes, the culture. And then, and I then, didn't know Martin contributed so much. And then, you know, nothing like that. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Don't okay. you know no good? Don't, ooh, don't you know no yeah, good? That, that's, all, that's all Martin. I think I ended up watching it. Like, maybe there was a time where we could watch it, but in the beginning, I think we didn't. But don't you know no good? I know there's no no good. We ended up watching it then. We did watch it a moment ago, but I think it was either reruns or something. But, um, what was the other one? Oh, my mama damn, biscuits. Damn. Don't you? That was from there too? Yeah. I didn't know. Brother Man from the I Fifth Floor. I just thought, of, oh, Brother Man from the Fifth Floor was beautiful. Yeah. That was beautiful. Hello. 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 Bonjour. Good. Oh, they speak English, English. Yeah. Okay. No. What was that? Bro. I English accent. I was like, I was like, let me say both. Say it. Aisha. Oh, sorry. My baby. Jersey. Sex with you. Jersey? Okay. I'm from LA. From LA. Well, I live here now. But. Okay, cool. Nice. 
I live in um in Boer area, so, like after Sally. Yeah. Really? Okay. We gotta figure out. Yes. Dope. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've been living here for two years. It's gonna be two years now. Awesome. 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 November for us. Woo, awesome. My husband is from here, and I didn't want to work anymore, so we said, let's go. And then um, my daughter, yeah, it was just a lot of stuff, and COVID and everything, you had time to think. So, yeah, so we um, we built our house. We were living here in Simone, and then we built our house, and then now we're in the house. Um, in the, it's like, you know, you don't move. Yeah, so like, after Sally, just keep on a little bit. Matakunda. Mm-hmm. So we're there. Oh, you're gonna have to come over and eat. My husband's gonna be so excited. He just went to um, get her some medicine. She had a little stomach bug, so he's coming right now. So he's he's gonna be excited. I work at the NBA Academy. No. Okay. So you know Mike and uh, okay. Okay, people. Something exciting just happened. You wanna tell them? Oh, we met some Jersey folk. Yeah. Yeah. Some some black folks. To, to be specific. It's a real American accent. So, mm -hmm. you know how when you're in the foreign place, your mm -hmm. ears perk up when you, yeah, when yeah, you hear yeah. that accent just about right. You say, yeah, yeah. that kind of sound familiar. In the beginning, I was like, I was like, bonjour. I was like, I was like, he I was like, hello. And then I, because everybody say hello anyway. But then I'm like, anybody can say hello. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm going to do the bonjour and see which one they like click with. But they also heard it in us too. So. Yeah, they heard us too. So it was like, ah. So yeah. So we, so we got a neighbor. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to get his information later. How you feeling, baby girl? Not good. Oh, gotta take care of this little girl. Y'all the same. Mm hmm But language wise, y'all ain't. Yeah, I've seen some people, and I used to think that um, no, no, several. I used to think that um, they were, they could be American because <laughs> they got braids. And their like skin is kind of caramel, and I and they're at the ocean, like you know. I'm like adding all this stuff together. They're wearing shorts, jean shorts. So I'm like, and then I try to look at the way they carry themselves and stuff, and I'm like, maybe. But I, but then they start speaking French, and I'm like, oh, maybe they're from some island, Cape Verde, or you know, I don't know, somewhere else, or they mixed or something. But but yeah, so I stop guessing. But I see people, and I'm like, nah, dude, gotta be. But but every once in a while they uh, throw you off like my boy's brother been living in france for 10 years and mm -hmm. when he's speaking french you wouldn't know right and then he's like oh yeah i'm from south carolina <laughs> <laughs> you know with a little southern accent but mm -hmm. just french be off the chain you be people be hiding in plain sight mm -hmm. mm. yeah so you never know that's why i say hello and and bonjour at the same time Get him with that what up. <laughs> Speaking of what? Oh. Are you feeling better or worse? A little better? That's good. I don't like to see you sick, boo. Put your feet in the water. The water's kind of warm, huh? Feels good. Get the sun on your face, too. Her and Amadou are allergic to shrimp. Sometime. Wee. Nice. Definitely got a shirt. Mm-hmm. How's your pizza? That's pretty good. Mm. I know, you saw my fish and now you look like you. <laughs> You can eat both. <laughs> <laughs> so we say goodbye to the beach. We had good food. It wasn't really like a get in the water kind of day, especially since the little one's sick and we got somewhere else to go. But Ida, did you have fun in the water? Uh, Ida. <laughs>
Did you have a good time? Uncle, Uncle B? <laughs> All right. Did you have fun? Yes. Good day? Yes, yeah, very good day. All right. Ayla, Ayla, Ayla. Did you have fun? Me? Yeah. Always have fun. Mm-hmm. Uli, c'était bien passé. Have a nice day. Yes. I like it. Hey. <laughs> we made some friends, some American friends. So they'll be coming over. Actually, uh, Panamanian American friends, which is made some Panamanian friends, some American friends, and they'll probably be coming over our house to eat. <laughs> but I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out. Black people, we the coolest, we the baddest, we the flyest, we the realest. I love y'all. Peace.